Tonight, Larimer County is reporting its first known case of monkeypox. It's an illness we know is spreading in Colorado. In fact, very quickly all over the globe. The state health department says there are at least 36 known cases so far here in Colorado. 28 of those reported just this month. Our Rick Salinger with more on the troubling trend. And Rick, there is a vaccine that helps, but sounds like it can be hard to find. Well, Jim, it feels like we've been through this before. First with COVID, now monkeypox, a vaccine but in high demand. And so they're rationing it out and directing it to those most at risk. Now considered a global health emergency, the vaccine for monkeypox is in high demand. The CDC distributes it to the states, including Colorado, where the stretch is on to make it last. But we have moved to a strategy where we are focusing on first doses, uh, and we will be providing second doses once the federal supply of vaccine increases. Scott Bookman headed the state's incident response to COVID, and now monkeypox. The state has provided several hundred doses of the vaccine, but the demand outstrips the supply. Colorado Senators Bennett and Hickenlooper sent a letter to the CDC and Department of Human Services saying billions have been invested to create a stockpile of the vaccine and it should be released. This man told a nurse what it was like to have the virus. I think I'm going to die because I can't eat, I can't drink, you know, it's I can't even swallow my own spit. We are making vaccine available to those who are at highest risk uh, of contracting this virus at this point. Those considered most at risk by the state are men who have had sex with multiple men. The vaccine is also being made available to those who have been exposed to monkeypox through contact or bed linens. Sadly, the U.S. now leads the globe in number of cases. If you want more information how you can sign up for a vaccine, if eligible, go to our website, cbscolorado.com. In Glendale, Rick Salinger covering Colorado First.